This building is fantastic. You know that? It's so beautiful. Okay? So I know the architect. So I became a friend of this architect, Charles Korea. We knew nothing about each other. But when he came and started designing this, we became very close friends. And a part of the reason is because I was interested in architecture. I had a couple of times in my late career to drop uh, research and go back, go to school yeah. to become architect. Mm -hmm. I never had the guts to do that. <laughs> I think it inspired a lot of people. It inspired me. Every time I go in there, I never get uh, bored with it. You come in here, and you have to feel good. You know, doing research is a, it's a very demanding thing also. You know, not all experiments work. Most of them don't work. It's a human nature to be encouraged by encountering something wonderful. He designed another brain research institute in Portugal. You know how that happened? I was an advisor of that uh, institute. They came here to look at this building. And uh, they wanted to know who designed it. So I told uh, this guy, Charles Korea. And uh, within a month, they hired him. They even skipped usual competition. And he designed the trees at the beautiful institute in Lisbon on the waterfront where Vasco da Gama started the voyage. You see, this is very important, art and the science, the relationship between art and the science. Most people think it's a very different things, but I don't think so. I think people who are doing art and the science and are very very good at them. I think there is a common motivation in there. You know, we call among the scientists, if your colleague does some great work, published a fantastic paper, you know how we praise them? We say, your paper is beautiful. That's what we say. It's so beautiful.